Welcome back to Yes, We're Adopted, Don't Make It Weird. I'm Dave O, he's Brett, and uh, we're trying to not make it weird. I made it weird. I made a weird face. I don't know what happened there. Which face was it? I was like, ah, yeah. Do you do that when people point at you? Apparently. Like, hey, he's Brett. <laughs> like, I don't know what to do. That's... Like, I am so socially awkward, though. Yatta! Yeah. How many times have I done that in one of these uh, videos? Quite a few. More than I think would I be I have a normal. thumbnail that's one of them of me doing that. So this week's question comes from Lana. She recently messaged us a whole list of questions for us to be able to answer. So we're just going to take one of them for right now, and then next week we're going to answer the rest because we're going to kind of combine the two of them. The question kind of pertains around the topic of going back to how things used to be. Or do you dream about what life could be if you weren't adopted? I'm sorry that my answers to that are probably going to be snarky. Yeah, I mean, okay, so, <laughs> warning, if you get hashtag triggered, you should keep watching because I want to laugh at your comments as you freak out. That should be good. Yeah. Okay, so, the the scientific answer to that question is that a lot of a lot of adoptees are documented as having, like, the, uh, the, the what-if fantasy, right? Yep. As far as, like, uh, what, what if... Uh, I hadn't been adopted or, or any of those sorts of things or like what when my when my real family comes to get me I will of course I'm probably royalty in my country of origin yes and uh, of Nigeria yeah because we already I'm established that's what you are Nigerian so. prince yeah uh, so that's out there however a lot of everybody has that weird fantasy about right what if my circumstance I mean, that's fantasy in general, though, right? Like, what if my circumstance were different than my actual circumstance? Yeah. No, for sure. There's constantly things on Facebook, even, you know, like, what would you do if you had a million dollars? And so people are coming up with these dream scenarios of what they would do if somebody just gave them a million dollars. We're constantly trying to figure out what our lives could be like if blank. Right. Uh... So that's that's everybody, and and I mean, adoptees at least can like kind of justify that though, right? a little bit, like, yeah. Because there's so much we don't know, right? And probably are never gonna know, but that means that because there's no knowing, that I can then say, I mean, it's possible, right? Yeah. Like it's possible that I'm a Nigerian prince. Yeah. It's possible that my family is super rich, and they're holding out right? on me. And they're looking for you. They've yeah. probably been looking for you forever. To give me my inheritance? To give, just to give you a bunch of money. Yeah. And I'm here. Yeah. By the way, so if you, you want to send money, right Like, here. comment, subscribe, and share. <laughs> but I mean, okay, so like popular media kind of perpetuates that. Oh, for sure. Right? So like... All the time. All of the things about like, I found... You got found by your fan... You should, Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's talk about these. <laughs> Let's talk about these adoption, freaking like freaking Kung Fu Panda children's movies here. <laughs> like, gets raised by a duck, and doesn't even like acknowledge that he's a panda, <laughs> and is adopted until the second movie. Yep. And then gets found by the panda family, which where he totally fits in now or whatever, and that's great for adoptees to see that. And <laughs> yep. <laughs> everything is perfect as soon as you find them. Everything is just and, grand. And everybody totally finds their birth family, and it's always awesome. Real, real simply. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, whereas the vast majority never find and or it's not awesome. <laughs> when you wished upon a star. When I wished upon a star. An adoption star. I wish I could go back far to see ride. my family. In Korea. I don't know how the rest of the song goes, the you, tune. You I, kinda, I forgot it. You kind of Jim Gaffigan that at the end. <laughs> so when I was younger, right, when when, when you're a teenager, you kind of have these thoughts. Sure. Um, it's inevitable. You have these thoughts about what life could be if blank. And I, I remember specifically, I was like 14, 15 years old. And I, I was starting to think about this stuff. I was like, okay, so what if my parents are out there and, and what if I could go back and just be with them? What would life be like? And then I came to the realization I'd probably hate it. You might hate it. 
because if 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 I went back with my current memories and current knowledge, I would hate it. I liked my life. And I still like my life. If I had no idea that it happened and that, you know, I was already adopted and I was going back in time or whatever, you know, uh, that kind of paradox, if I had no idea, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> like time time travel has all sorts of issues. That... Yeah. Time travel is all kinds of messed up. That's why we don't do it. But I wouldn't care. I wouldn't be thinking about this stuff. And it, it wouldn't be a big deal to me. And honestly, if that were the case, I'd probably be thinking, what if life were like, or what would life be like if I were somewhere else? If I was still living that life. We're constantly playing the what if game to the point where it's detrimental to some people because that's all they live in is that what if life. They don't think about their current lifestyle and anything anymore. Again, this is going to be very ranty of a video. Ranty of a video. I'm, I'm about to do a it. ranty video about your phrasing of ranty yeah. of a video. And I'm kind of angry about it. Because so many people get stuck in that mindset. And that's all they know how to do now is play the what if game. The problem becomes when we live in a fantasy world and, and not in a actual world. <laughs> In actual world? Yeah. You know, the one that's actually happening. Like, <laughs> yep. we're all about, like, dream big and do things that are awesome and blah, blah, Reach blah. Reach for the stars! That's the voice they use, too. That's the voice. Like, I feel like that's an interesting question for adoptees that you have to take individually, right? Like, yeah. if, if you're living in a fantasy land at all, in general, adopted or not, and are therefore unable to engage with and move on with your life, yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. But if you're just, like, thinking about how things could be, I Every mean, like, there's a whole industry that's built on that. <laughs> it's called the lotto. <laughs> and they make billions. And they make a lot of money selling you on hope for something that's not Never gonna, gonna happen. happen. <laughs> right? So good for them. Yep. Uh, yep. Now, if somebody wants to Pay me to help your adopted child lose themselves in their fantasy world. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm not above that. <laughs> Comment below if you would like Devo to trick your adopted child into thinking something it, else. It's totally possible. Hey, look, we might we might be siblings. Yeah. And I'm doing but, okay. But, but, but I'm black. And, uh, hey, look, we're all children of the sun <laughs> the universe i hated everything that you just said right there <laughs> rightfully so. living a fantasy life in general is just not a good thing right like sure right. adopted people are gonna play into that don't let it rule your life right. if you think about it once in a while that's cool that's fine as long as it's not doing anything that's going to be long term for you and that's all you're gonna focus on go for it play the what if game if you want to or you could be okay with how things are. You can move on from stuff. You could cope with it. You can learn from it. And then be better. And just find the meaning in your life as it is. Yep. And uh, you'll be better off. Yeah. So tell us your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Do you live in a fantasy world? Do if you so, wish you lived in a fantasy world? Do you have world? telekinesis? Yeah. What superpower would you have if you could choose any superpower ever? Put it in the comments below. Let us know if you guys want to be able to share your story. We're going to put a link right here. But if you want to share your story, reach out to us right here. Message us at YouTube at AGA.Productions. We would love to be able to get your guys' story out there. Let's start a conversation. Again, as always, I'm still Brett. He's still Davo. We're going to go live in a fantasy world now. It's called LARPing. Check it out. You're doing that. I'm going to go buy some Windex. <laughs> My life sounds so much better right now than yours. Yeah, but I'm living in reality. <laughs>